When the weather turns cooler, my mind and my stomach turn to comfort food. Now, I'm going to make a beautiful spaghetti alfredo, but no pasta in this dish. I'm using spaghetti squash, so it's a low carb casserole. Now, what I've already done is cut my spaghetti squash in half, and I'm going to turn this cut side down onto a parchment lined baking pan. We'll get this into a 350 oven and let this roast for about 45 to 50 minutes. Now while that's roasting, let's get busy with the filling for the casserole, and this is super easy. We've already cooked off some bacon and chopped it up into pieces. You can never have too much bacon, and save some of that bacon fat. I'm from the South. We season everything with rendered bacon fat, so we're going to take two tablespoons of the rendered bacon fat and put that first into the bowl. Now to that, I'm going to add a supermarket shortcut. This is a jar of prepared Alfredo sauce. It's so quick and easy to buy in the grocery store, and it's even quicker to use in this recipe. So we're going to get this into the bowl. And to that we're going to add some minced garlic, fresh and delightful. Some fresh cracked black pepper. In goes some chopped fresh basil. Now if all you have is dried, that's fine, but the fresh is so nice here and is usually pretty readily available in the supermarket. To that we're going to add some shredded mozzarella cheese. Now this is really the only cheese that I encourage you to buy pre-shredded in the grocery store because let's be honest, shredding your own mozzarella at home is tough. It's very liquidy, it's tough to shred, and I find that the pre-shredded in the grocery store in this case is just fine. And then we're going to add to that our bacon, all chopped and smoky and delicious. And all this goes inside and then we give this a quick stir. When that spaghetti squash comes out of the oven and it cools, we'll take a fork, fluff it out and get it into this mixture. And then there's more baking to come and more great toppings. Now the spaghetti squash has come out of the oven. We let it cool for about 10 minutes and now we're going to fluff it out. Take a fork, work from the sides, and just start to fluff up the inside of the squash. It behaves and looks just like spaghetti, except without all the carbs, right? So what we're gonna do is just keep fluffing this and working it toward the middle, and then I'm going to get it into a bowl. This is eventually gonna be turned into the mixture, the filling mixture that we made early on. This will get really plentiful, so don't get nervous that you're not gonna have enough. You're gonna have plenty of spaghetti squash here, and that's just one, and I was not even all that aggressive with getting it all out of the shell. Now, let me get the other, working in from the sides. Smells a little bit like pumpkin, because you know pumpkin is from the squash family. And then we're gonna get all this into the bowl, and then this is gonna go into our filling. So let's take this over, turn this right into the filling earlier that we made with the Alfredo sauce and the cheese and the bacon and the fresh basil. And then we'll give this a turn, and you wanna get all of that filling mixed in with the spaghetti squash. Spend some time with this. Be careful that you're folding, not stirring, because you don't want to damage the spaghetti squash. You wanna make sure that it maintains some integrity. Now, get that all folded in, get all the filling in place. Now we go back to the skillet we used earlier to crisp up the bacon. Now we poured all the bacon fat out, but there's still a little bit of residual in the pan, and that's a good thing, because that's gonna add in more great flavor. So we're going to take this filling, and we're going to turn it out into our skillet. And this makes a wonderful one-dish casserole that the whole family's going to love. Now take your spatula, even this up, because we're gonna make it even more decadent by adding more toppings to this, more cheese, more bacon, and get it back into the oven. Now we're going to take more shredded mozzarella and spread this around, beautiful. None of this is hot, so if the kids wanna have a hand at this, wanna give you a hand in the kitchen, I think that's always a good thing. Then we're going to take the rest of our bacon, spread that around, smoky and crispy and delicious. It's gonna render even more flavor down into the casserole. Oh, I wanna live in a world without bacon. Now we take grated Parmesan Reggiano cheese and we're gonna put that all over the top. This is going to add in the salt you've been missing and been wanting to add into this casserole. No worries, this is going to provide you with all of that great sodium that you're after and a little extra cheesy goodness. And then finally, the rest of our chopped fresh basil, just to make this pretty. This is gonna go back into a 350 oven for about 30 to 35 minutes until it's golden brown and bubbling. So our casserole is ready to come out of the oven and it smells fantastic. Let's head over. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. A one skillet wonder. And this is spaghetti Alfredo, but not pasta. Spaghetti squash Alfredo. And it smells great, full of beautiful Alfredo sauces and cheese and bacon and spaghetti squash. This is going to be a rib sticker for you and your whole family 
and a few friends who might find their way into your kitchen. Here we go. Give this a little taste test. Get some bacon in there. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Cheesy, perfect, balanced, and low carb to boot. This recipe is a winner.